can't stop okay, okay, hustling okay, okay. every minute, every second. Welcome back to the gutter, y'all. I knew you was waiting for it, so I decided I was going to come up on the real reel with bringing y'all into the gutter with me. Don't worry, I'm a very good tour guide because I be staying there all the time, yo. It is over here, boy, with bros, brews, and botches on this, what's called a Mad Dog Monday. I know you missed it. I missed it, too. And that's why I talk about stuff that people wouldn't ordinarily drink. And this in particular, I'm going to be talking about some of the worst beers as rated by RateBeer.com. Today, we're going to be talking about this Bud Light Chilada. That comes in at number 12 on their list of the worst beers, and that's out of 50 different beers. And uh, this thing's coming in at 4.2% alcohol. If you've ever had a Chilada in your life, then you know what to expect. And if you haven't, I've, I've reviewed some before. Go check those out. But having said that, you can get like a lager or like a Pilsner, some sort of beer like that. You're going to pour like Clamato or tomato juice into it, depending on whatever your preference is. And then you're going to hit it with some sort of spices, a little bit of twist of lime in some occasions. And the spices usually like chili powder, turmeric, things of that nature. Yo, I'm talking about it. Anyway, let's go ahead and crack this boy open. This thing's probably going to be like a uh, orangey color. A little bit of reddish there. I know it smells like grapefruit. I don't know why these things don't pour good. It's aggravating me. But yeah, look at that. Yo, it's like a forbidden Bloody Mary, ain't it? Anyway, that's what we do, because I like doing that, and that's why, you know, it's my job, not yours. Don't worry about it. Anyway, smelling of it, it smells of, really smells like Clamato, Clamato, uh, Clamato juice and spices, so I definitely pick up like a little hint of chili powder in there. Let me bring this back over here around there like that. Let's give it a taste. So, they rated it at number 12 on the top 50 worst beers, but as far as Over Here Boy is concerned, it's going to be a 3 out of 5 caps, and you're like, Over Here Boy, why are you rating it so high? Because I like it. You got like a nice little tomato juice thing going on with it with just enough spice to let you know you're doing something and the lightness of the beer really shines through it's just real nice if you like bloody mary's you'd like these that's all i can say about that anyway you already know what it is drop down in the description and all that and uh find where we be at on our link tree and uh yeah anyway stay tuned whenever we do an episode of sips on thursday i'll let y'all know and i'm gonna start doing a little couple special things of tiktoks and instagrams where you can only find that stuff there and it's going to be a real quick beer reviews back like it used to be during the 60 second sip days. Anyway, for the boys, I am over here, boy, and we'll see yous later. We don't be cheersing these on here, but I am going to drink this because I don't know no better. Lovings. <laughs>